Okay, welcome to part three now of outcome A1. That's factors and products of whole numbers. And it's the last part, in fact, of, of section 3.1 of your textbook. And we're going to look at the LCM, or least common multiple. So, the, what is the least common multiple? It's the smallest number that is divisible by two or more numbers. For example, we could ask, what is the LCM of 18, 20, and 30? Well, there's one method that we could do. Boom, there we go. We could list all the multiples of these numbers, and they go on forever. So the multiples of 18 are 18, 36, 54, 72, 90, 108, 126, 144, 162, 180, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Just keep adding 18, right? And the multiples of 20 are there, and the multiples of 30 are there. And then, you know, if you make a long enough list, you'll eventually find something that's common for all three. That's 180. They're all, they're all uh, able to divide into 180. So the LCM is 180. But that's a massive amount of work. We want a better solution for it for this. So let's answer this question again. What's the LCM of 18, 20, and 30? And we know the answer already that we're looking for is 180. So here's how we're going to do it. We're going to write down the prime factorization for each of these. 18 is 2 times 3 squared. 20 is 2 squared times 5. I'm going to write the 5 kind of on its own over there. And 30, well that's 2 times 3 times 5. I'm going to take a moment to note that all of these individual factors are to the power of 1. Here's how you find the LCM using prime factorization. The least common multiple is going to have to be a number that is divisible by all three of these numbers. If it's divisible by 20, it must be, for example, divisible by 2 squared. If it's divisible by 18, it must be divisible by 2 to the power of 1. And if it's divisible by 30, it must be divisible by 2 to the power of 1 as well. So. If the LCM includes a factor of 2 to the power of 1, it is going to be divisible by 30 or 18, but not by 20. Therefore, we actually need a greater factor. We need 2 to the power of 2, so that all three numbers can divide in. So we write 2 to the power of 2. Similarly, look at the 3's. We have a 3 to the power of 2 and a 3 to the power of 1, and the only power of 3 that is divisible by both of those, or the least power of 3 that is divisible by both of those, is 3 to the power of 2. Finally, dealing with the 5s, well, there's only 5 to the power of 1, so we're done. We'll write down 5 to the power of 1. If you multiply all that out, guess what you get? 180. So the process is to prime factorize and put them in order, and then for each column of numbers, look to the greatest power in order to find the least common multiple. Okay, I want to show you one other technique here. So we're asked the question of uh, finding the LCM for 24, 36, and 30. Here's what we can do. We can write out the numbers 24, 36, and 30. And we can start dividing them by common factors. So we'll start off, hey look, I noticed just by chance that they're divisible by 6. If I divide all three by six, let's see, I get four here, I get six over here, and I get five there. Okay, let's continue. I'm gonna notice that they can be divided by, well, some of them can be divided by two, so I'll write down two. If I divide four by two, I get two. If I divide six by two, I get three. And I can't divide five by two, so it actually remains five regardless. And I keep going. I say, okay, I can still divide by 2, at least for one of them. I divide 2 by 2, and I get 1. 3 cannot be divided, so I just keep going with 3. And 5 cannot be divided again, so I keep going. And similarly, I divide by 3. That gives me a 1 when I divide 3 by 1. And the 5 actually still keeps going, still hasn't been divided out. And finally, I say, okay, I'm going to divide by 5. I leave the 1s where they are, 
divide five by five, and that gives me one. When I get a bunch of ones at the bottom, I'm done. As it turns out, the LCM is six times two times two times three times five. The LCM is six times two times two times three times five, just like that. So this is a different technique here, uh, but I think it can be uh, useful for you. Why don't you go try some problems out from your textbook?